welcome to the network pen testing course at pen tester academy so in this video we will look at a hidden bind shell payload now this is a very interesting uh, you know shell code which i found out uh, just two days back and the reference is from borja merino the blog post is given for you to look at and and I'm hoping this will be included in the formal Metasploit payload as well. Now, basically what Borja has done is in most cases, if you have a bind shell payload uh, and you end up running it, then anyone can access that payload. Now, at the very same time, a lot of network scanners can go ahead and detect the presence of such a shell. Now, this is really where one would probably want to try and maybe use like an IP based ACL to ensure that only the attacker's machine manages to connect to the bind shell. Now of course such a bind shell uh, which actually goes ahead and firewalls by IP would have to do it at the lowest level possible which is in the TCP stack itself because if it does not do that then you could have, you know, a SIM scanner or anything else easily detect its presence. So this is where what Borja has done is he's used set sock opt and ensure that the accept is conditional. And after that, his shell code actually decides whether to accept the connection or not based on the IP address, right? Now, as far as using this shell code is concerned, it's quite easy. You can download the handler and the payload from the links given here and put them in the appropriate folders as mentioned below. After that, the process is really quite simple. You would just use MSF Venom, uh, give the payload name, followed by the port. I'm using exactly what Borja has done, 54321 and the a host or the allowed host really let's say is 1.10 right after this we transport this to the victim machine which is my windows 7 machine and let's execute this now if i go back to my kali machine and I actually do an nmap scan So the Windows machine is on port uh, is on IP address 1.30, and the port number I am interested in is 54321. Uh, you would actually notice that currently the state seems to be open. Now this is really because the attacker's IP address is 1.10. Right now, if I change my IP address to 1.11 try the scan again you'd actually notice that the state comes to be closed at this point which is basically if you are not the attacker you would not be able to see this bind shell remotely so now let's bring my IP address back here do an nmap scan again happy to see the port is open and I'm going to use netcat to connect to the remote machine and there we go right fantastic so I think this is a really cool example of how one can innovate over the existing shell codes uh, we have a shell coding course for those who are interested and one of the other ideas which I can give is let's say binding by IP at times could be different. So maybe we'd like to even authenticate by username and password. Now this is one of the shell coding assignments for the exam which I had given in the 64 bit shell coding course. So if you're a pen tester academy student or if you bought our shell coding courses then have a look at both of these courses 32 and 64 bit shell coding on Linux and that teaches you step by step 
how to understand and write your own custom shell code. Uh, credits again to Borja Merino. I think uh, this is fantastic and I hope to see this within the Metasploit framework officially. That's all I had in mind for this video. If you're enjoying your time here at Pentester Academy, then please do recommend us to your friends and colleagues in the InfoSec community. Thank you.